thrust reverser deactivation and lockout. This procedure is accomplished when a fault occurs on the thrust reverser system which cannot be repaired for the next flight. Deactivation and lockout devices are therefore provided to secure the pivoting doors in the stowed position when an aircraft has to be dispatched with an inoperative thrust reverser. In the cockpit, first put a warning notice on the engine panel 115VU to prevent engine start. Make sure that the engine has been shut down for at least five minutes and that the corresponding master lever is set in the off position. On the engine maintenance panel 50VU, make sure that the on legend of the engine FADEC ground power push button switch is off and install a warning notice. Open the fan cowl doors. On the right hand side, install the access platform in position to get access to the hydraulic control unit located on the upper part of the thrust reverser door. Deactivate the thrust reverser system as follows. Move the hydraulic control unit lever to the off position. Remove the safety pin from its storage support and install it to hold the operating deactivation lever in the off position. Disconnect the connectors of the pressurizing valve and directional valve. Install blanking caps on the electrical connectors and secure them. For lockout operation, on the lower forward face of the right thrust reverser half, lockout bolts will be removed from their storage bracket. On each pivoting door, remove the lockout fairing and its screw. Then remove the red lock plates and the lockout bolts. Now install in each pivoting door a lockout bolt and tighten it to attach the door to the frame structure of the thrust reverser cowl door. Cover and secure each lockout bolt with a red lock plate and its retaining bolt. Replace the lockout fairings and their screws on the storage bracket instead of the red lock plates and the lockout bolts.
Close the fan cowl doors and make sure that the working area is clean and clear of tools and other items. When all the lock plates are installed, they indicate that the four pivoting doors of the thrust reverser are locked out. Finally, in the cockpit, remove the warning notices from panels 50VU and 115VU. Install a warning notice indicating that the corresponding reverser is inoperative and note it in the logbook.